Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I'm Tanvi Arora and I'm working here as a techno functional consultant. So in today's video, we are going to see few of the functions uh, that are used in smart view reporting. So uh, these are namely HS get value function, set value function, HS get cheat information, HS currency, HS alias, description, and so on. So we are going to discuss few of the functions, how they are used in um, widely used in smart view reporting. Let's just see. Okay, so first of all, I'll give a brief dis uh, description about each and every function and uh, through which database uh, it can be connected through which data source. Okay. So you can see that uh, this HS get value function, what is the role of this and uh, which data source types uh, supports this function. So it is supported in Oracle Analytics Cloud, SBase, Oracle Planning and Budgeting Cloud, Oracle Enterprise Planning and Budgeting Cloud, Oracle Financial Consolidation and Close Cloud, Tax Reporting Cloud, and Enterprise Performance Reporting Cloud. And also it uh, like on-premise data source types also supports this, okay? Like SBase, Hyperion uh, Financial Management, that is HFM and uh, Hyperion Planning. So what does this function do? It actually retrieves the data from the data source for selected members of a dimension. So whatever data is there, suppose you have uh, like, we have already described all the POVs and we have provided the name of the connection. So whatever value we are retrieving, uh, we are getting from the uh, uh, like application. So that will can, can be retrieved in a particular cell in the Excel sheet. So we will see. Okay, this is the syntax that we will use. This is private connection and this is what shared connection. Okay, so basically the name of the connection and then we have to define the POV. So let's just see it practically. So this is my smart view and we are going to see the HS get value function. Okay, so I have already built a connection with SBase application. You can see that this is on premise. All right. So I've already provided for the URL, which is shown here. Okay. And I've already provided for the um, user ID and password. All right. Now I've uh, defined all the POVs. I've taken my entity as C101. Okay, then the period uh, is uh, January and year is financial year 2010. Then this um, version is working, scenario is actual and this is my product. Okay, and these are my accounts. So as you can see that uh, we have actually the data which is actually coming from the application. Okay, uh, these are already there in these accounts, the data is feeded. Now, suppose I want to retrieve this 5,000 in a particular cell. Okay, so how can I do that? I, I will use this function. I'll, so, I'll just show. So I'll go to smart view and then I will go to functions. After going to functions, I will click on build function. Okay. This is taking some time. Okay. These are the total functions uh, that are used for smart view reporting. So it says get value. I'll just click on OK. And then we have to provide the name of the connection. So I've already built a connection. So I'll use that connection. So it is this connection. And then I will select the member list. So I have to define my POVs. All right. See account. First of all, I'll define my account. So this is cash one. I'll keep changing my POV from here and I'll just define it. Period is Jan. Entity is this one. Year is financial year 2010. Version is working. Scenario is actual. And product is this. Okay, so I have already defined everything. Now I'll just click on OK. It's saying that it needs a refresh. So let's just click on this refresh uh, bar. Okay, so I have actually retrieved the value from the data source to the particular cell in the Excel sheet. So this is the function of this HS get value. Now the other functions actually not every function is supported by uh, the SBase. Few of the functions are only for like planning and FCCS. Few are for only SBase. Okay, few are for HFM. So let's just see individually. 
this is the first function now moving on to the next function it is hs set value now data source types are uh, s base uh, this is uh, oracle planning and budgeting cloud then uh, enterprise planning budgeting cloud financial consolidation and tax reporting on premise are s base hyperion financial management and oracle uh, oracle hyperion planning so i have actually connected with the workspace only that is on premise s base connection then it what it does this function the use is it sends a data value from a worksheet to a data source for selected members of a dimension so now this is just opposite of the get value function okay uh, in that we were retrieving the information from the data source to the sheet value but here we are sending the uh, value from the worksheet to the data source back okay so to send data to the data source you we must have appropriate load rule and we have access for the data source all right so this is the syntax basically what we have to provide i'll just mention the uh, reference of the cell and then it will send back the data again okay so this was hs get value let's just go to this hs set value now i've already created a connection this sheet is already connected with the s base and uh, these are my povs which are already defined i have these values here okay now i have another sheet uh, which i can link see these are my old values and these are the new values which i want to send in my data source back okay suppose i'm actually uh, i want uh, to apply my formula here in the cache 2 let's just see cache 1 okay so smart view under functions i'll go again to the build functions set value Okay, I'll select this function. So here I have to mention the reference of the uh, cell. Okay, uh, right now I'm mentioning anything. Okay, I'll just show you why I'm uh, mentioning this. Okay. I'll just provide the uh, connection name. Then uh, quickly I will define my accounts. The next dimension is entity. So I've defined my POVs. So this is showing me invalid input because I haven't given the correct reference of the cell. Now I will change the reference of the cell, uh, the data which I want here in this cache one. Okay. I want 8,000 from the other sheet. So I'll just go to this sheet, give this reference. And click on enter so here i got this 8000 now i will just refresh it and then submit my data i will push it to this data source see the value got changed from 5000 to 8000 in this way it is pushing the data back to the data source this was the other formula moving on to the other uh, next formula which is it is get sheet information now this is uh, actually provider independent okay so we can use it with any of the connections uh, so this type of information it will provide like um, whether it will tell you whether your sheet is connected so it will show whether it is connected so it will show yes if it is not it will show no sheet type information it will give uh, ad hoc or form okay server information application cube url everything it will provide you let's just see a few of these So uh, suppose this is the uh, this is my sheet, okay? Here I want the sheet information. Now I will put the formula here only. So I'll go to Smart View, Functions, Build Functions, and then uh, this is the 
it says get sheet information okay here i will uh, i want to see whether my sheet is connected or not or if i want to see the alias table or the cube which is there okay so i'll just see so this sheet is connected it is giving me the information let's just see the other things what other uh, functions it can perform So application is vision. So it provided me the name of the application. The description function and uh, the label function works in a similar way. I will show you that also. This was the third function. This was the syntax. It says get sheet info, then string equivalent and this. The next function is HS currency. Uh, here it is clearly mentioned that it uh, this connection can only be created with data source type as uh, HFM which is uh, the on-premise, all right? So what it does, uh, HS currency retrieves the currency value of the specified dimension member, okay? So what is uh, like whatever um, entity currency is there, it will retrieve that currency information and will show you, okay? This is the syntax. So this is my HFM smart view sheet. I've already created one connection with the HFM. Okay. So I will show you. I've uh, like in the shared connection, I have this Hyperion financial management connection. And I have few of the apps here. So I have connected to batch 201. And uh, this is the like uh, BOV which is defined. Okay. Now suppose this is my uh, entity. Okay. Uh, United States. Uh, east region so whatever base currency is there for this entity it will show me okay let's just try to put this uh, formula anywhere in the sheet this is my formula okay connection name entity member and value member so it will retrieve the entity currency for the member connection is this one i've already created this connection with hfm and here There was some error. Okay, so I have already created the connection with this HFM and now I will uh, apply this function. Okay, so under smart view, I will go to functions and we will see currency functions. So under select function, It is taking a lot of time. Okay, so this is the HS currency function. <clears throat> I'll click on OK. Select the name of the connection. And then I will click here. Okay, so this is my entity and it will retrieve the value of the base currency of this entity. Okay, I have already provided for the entity. So this is under geographical, uh, this is the eastern region. Okay, so once this is provided, I'll click on OK. And I'll just refresh it. So the base currency is USD and it is retrieving that information. All right. Then let's just move ahead uh, to the next function, which is HS alias. Now it is already mentioned that the data source which is required is uh, all these things like planning budgeting cloud, Oracle enterprise planning budgeting cloud, financial consolidation, tax reporting cloud. Okay, so what uh, what it will do? The HS alias displays the alias of the specified dimension member. Okay, it will for, uh, for suppose there is one member. Okay, and uh, whatever be the dimension member, whatever alias name alias name is there, it will display that to me. Okay, so this is the uh, syntax for this for the private connection. Okay. Now, uh, 
I will use this function uh, for Oracle Financial Consolidation and Close Cloud, okay, as it is supported in that. So I've already created the uh, connection with my FCCS application. As you can see that I have already defined all the POVs, okay. So here, suppose this is the, uh, already this is the alias name. Wait, let me change this. So there is some error. It is not allowing me to change. Okay, suppose this is the account. This is not the account number, but this is in fact the alias name. But I want to retrieve this to an another cell. So this function will do that. Okay. This is the alias name. So I'll click on this function. Click on OK. So I have to uh, rebuild the connection. Maybe there is some error in this sheet. Okay, let's just change this to the private connection. I'll rebuild the connection. now <clears throat> this sheet is connected now let's just see <clears throat> sorry alias now the sheet is connected <laughs> so this is the connection name and output alias, I will just put it as default. Everything I will just put it as default and distinct name true. Now I will select the member list. I have to select the account basically, whatever account I have selected. So I'll go to the balance sheet, traditional approach, under total assets, current assets, under cash and cash equivalents. Okay, so here I will change the alias table wait I've selected the account I'll just click on ok and you can see that it is retrieving my alias name all right so moving ahead uh, I have this uh, HS description function. So uh, it supports the SBase planning and budgeting cloud, enterprise planning and budgeting cloud, financial consolidation and close, tax reporting and on-premise also it will support. Okay, so let's just try this on the on-premise only. Uh, this is my on-premise connection sheet. Okay, we can put this formula here itself. So what it will do, uh, I will give a brief about it. Okay, edges description displays the description of the specified dimension member, all right? So uh, it just description returns the alias name of the specified dimension. It works as the edges alias functions only, but the connection is uh, different, okay? Data source types as uh, supported are different. So this is the sheet under functions. This is the function. Again, we have to provide the name of the connection and then we have to select the member name. So whatever recent uh, uh, member name you are going to select, suppose scenario is actual, okay. Or suppose I'm selecting period. 
as January. All right, so it will take the latest one. So the alias or uh, the description is basically the January. All right. So in this way it works. Then we have this uh, it is label function. It displays the default member label for the specified dimension member. Uh, this is supported in HFM. Suppose I have selected scenario. See, it is giving me the information about it. The scenario is actual, which is actually defined in the POV. Then this is the get variable function. So it will retrieve the information uh, from the uh, variables that are used, substitution variables. Okay, so you can see that it re retrieves the associated value for a substitution variable. All right, this is the syntax. All right. So we have for default connection, private, shared, and a named range on a multiple grid. So let's just try. And now this function works for like S base and on premise also on S base only. Okay. So let's just go to the S base sheet. This is my sheet, suppose, under smart view functions build functions we have this edges get variable the name of the connection is this one all right and then it will allow me the option of selecting my uh, variables okay the substitution variables so suppose i'm selecting current here let's just see So it is uh, giving me the information, whatever current year is there in the application. All right. So in this way, we can use these different different functions um, in reporting. And also we have some advanced features like smart slice option, smart queries, okay, which are actually used and uh, which will help to create your uh, report in a very better, uh, present that in a very better way. Okay. So you can actually use these in the financial reports. So this was it for today's uh, session and thank you so much for any queries you can reach uh, reach out to us all right thanks